Welcome to The John Show with your host, John Doogie Clouser. All right, all right, all right. What's going on, everyone? How are you? We are here on a new episode of the Juan Solo Show. This is episode 163 of this great and wonderful uh, thing that we call uh, my podcast. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. It's, what, Monday the 10th? Uh, yesterday, uh, Jesus rose. Today, he is out and about. Uh, the Bunny Rabbit s- has put all the eggs out, and now you have to put blood over your door so that um, uh, the boogie monster doesn't come and get you. It's it's crazy. It's a good time. It's a wonderful time. Uh, yeah, I uh, hope you're doing well, like I said. But, you know, god damn. So a lot of things have been going on lately. Uh, you know, it's like... I remember there was a time in this world when it was almost like, oh, some weeks were so quiet and we didn't have, you know, not a lot of stuff happened. We just lived our life and we, we, we just tried to move on and, you know, try to maybe, you know, possibly learn something, save a little bit of money, you know, meet people. Now <laughs> we have the Dalai Lama out here asking little boys to suck their tongues and we have people who are working at banks shooting people. Uh, you know, it's just we, we can't be. It's it's one extreme or the other. It's 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 never just normal things. It can't. And then then we have people like me who are trying to bring La the Cross. Is it La Croix or La Croix? La Croix, La Croix, La Croix. We're trying to bring these fuckers back into your life because you're like, you know what, John? No one should drink. It, it should it take three days to go through like a six pack of like Coke. And I'm just like, whoa, bro, this is way too much. You're going crazy. You're going ham right now. You need to pull that back. And if you're going to drink something carbonated, drink this awful pile of shit called LaCroix. And I, what's so, but what's so shocking about it is the fact that, like, of course, why would you not go back to this? Why would you not go back to something that's like just borderline enjoyable, but it's still incredibly um there's there's absolutely nothing pleasurable about drinking these other than you're like oh uh, man that's real that's like it's like someone had a bunch of like fruit juice and they just distilled it down distilled it down distill is that the right word they they filtered it through maybe that's the right word they filtered it filtered it down filtered it down filtered it down like maybe 26 times and then they're like, hey, here's this awesome beverage. And you're like, oh, it's bubbly. So you're like, oh, it's carbonated. So there's going to be some sweetness to it. And then you taste it and, it. and it's just, it's just gross. Like there's really no, I can't, I, I, I like Coke more. But the thing is, I would drink a six pack of Coke every day if I could. If I, if somehow they can make it taste like a regular Coke and add and make it not and make it zero and you know some people are like well, why don't you just drink a zero coke that's one gross two that's you're still drinking a lot of something that you probably shouldn't be drinking but you know carbonated water water like it, it, <clears throat> like what where they say the worst that happens is it like kind of like affects your gums a little bit it makes you belch a lot because you're drinking a lot of water like air uh but uh, it's just i can't i can't do it to myself i can't do it it's it's not good for you for some reason it's not good to drink six cokes in one day I, I haven't done it hell I don't think I ever did it when I was a kid I think maybe the most I I even when growing up the most I ever had was a coke one a day like it was just like a, a can it was what I, I would do I would eat uh bowl of popcorn and a coke that would be like at the end of the day that's like growing up i think that was all the way through like middle school high school like it was all it was that that was the thing never went crazy with it never went over the top like sometimes like in it like i would go to a barbecue and i'd drink like three and i would feel like a rebel i really would 
I, it, that was for me, that was going crazy. And then you started drinking alcohol and then you go and then that's even crazier. But yeah, it's just, uh, I hate, I, I just, I wish I could, but I can't. And you know, and then there's alcohol, but I, I'm not drinking alcohol because like I got fucking wasted for the Super Bowl, And I'm just, every time I think about it, alcohol now, I'm just like, Nah, I'm good, dude. <laughs> I just don't I don't want to taste it. I have like I don't have any gag reflexes for it or to it or anything like that. I'm just like I'm good. I just don't want it cuz I went real ham on uh the Super Bowl and ever since then I'm just like okay. Right, good. Maybe it's like it was like the last ski trip of the year and I could go a whole year until the next ski season, aka football season, to drink again. That that's the that's the idea. That's the whole that's the plan. Is there's no need to drink again until the next time the Chiefs or the Rams are playing a football game. That's the only and then I, I then it's almost like, well should I, can I do it preseason? Or should it does it have, does it have to be a game where the stats actually mean something? See, it's just always football. God damn, I love that sport. I love was it, what's the three things? Remember, guys, what are the three things that we love? We love our dog. We love football. And we love our gambling record. Remember, those are the three things you love. <laughs> what was it? I well, I think it was that. Or what was the thing? It was like the three, thi- the three things I love. I love I love my dog. I love Jesus. And I love my gambling record. I think that's the actual thing. I think that's the actual joke is dog. Jesus gambling record. I think that's what it is. Instead of dog football, and uh, that would be the non-religious person. I guess would be then um, my gambling record. But the most important thing is the gambling record. Apparently, <clears throat> it is true though. Like, dude, I have I <laughs> during football season. I and I'm all around so many people who are like, yeah, we put like five hundred dollars down and we, we won like sixteen thousand. It's like, what the hell, like. <laughs> Nowhere, nowhere in my mind. I'm like, okay, there's a football game. There's a UFC game. There's fucking people, pl- p- people playing tiddlywinks. I got to bet on this. I got to take money I have and throw it down on this. I like, think it's just, it doesn't do anything for me. It just, uh, it does nothing at all. Mmm, that fucking gross. Which one is this? This is the. The pineapple strawberry. Yeah. It uh yeah, if you uh basically squished out all the flavor and then you on to if you took a bunch of fruits, if you took a bunch of pineapple and a bunch of strawberries and you had a cutting board and you just squished it down and then you cleaned off that cutting board and then you just left what was on, whatever was left on that, and then you put that into a cup. That's what that drink tastes like. It's not good. I don't know what I. Why do I do this? I I I've I I've done this with those Zevia was the Zevia cokes. I tried to do that. No, couldn't do it. Trying these these La Croix. The bubblies are okay, but still, it's like why am I doing? And then it's like because John, you <laughs> can't. You want to drink like like it's not even like a can. It's the taller. It's the what the the the, the one with the qu- twist tops. And it's like that's too much. That's too much goddamn coke to be consuming in a day, dude. And you'll do it and you do it and you do it. And you can't. I can't control myself. I just love it <laughs> so goddamn much. Mm. So I'm sitting here. <laughs> you think if I could control it, then it'd be better, but it's not. But yeah, the Dalai Lama asking little boys to kiss his mouth or to lick his tongue or to suck tongue. That's so goddamn gross. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's see the Dalai Lama. Dalai Lama apologizes after video asking child to suck his tongue sparks outcry. Uh, New Delhi. Uh, the Dalai Lama has apologized as the video emerged showing the spiritual leader kissing a boy on the lips and then asking him to suck my tongue. At an event in northern India. What? Ugh. 
Woof, 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 woof. Uh, in a statement on Monday, the office of the Dalai Lama said he wishes to apologize to the boy and his family, as well as his, as well as many fans across the world for the hurt his words have caused. Adding, he regrets the incident. Well, buddy, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. <laughs> this man was so close. Isn't he like 90 years old? He was so close to the finish line. So close. All you had to do. Okay, people. Mo- I'm talking to men here. Other men. Just don't ever ask. Just, just, just don't ever ask little boys to, like, to suck your tongue. Suck their tongue. Suck any tongue. Just, Just don't. Just don't. It's gross. It's fucking weird. Why? Huh? How? You know you know there's cameras. There's cameras and audio all over the goddamn place now. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? That's so fucking weird. <laughs> Why would you do that? Uh oh man. I fucking hate pop ups and it's now it eats up uh this is uh the identity of the boy is unknown. Uh, he was an event with the M3M Foundation. Wow, good job. And I bet, you know, now the the, the M3M, I'm sure they're going to uh, going to be connectly tied to the Dalai Lama from here on out now. Man, dude. You think he's going to get canceled? The canceling is still a thing. I think it is, right? Yeah. So, oh, God. <laughs> Woof. Woof. Uh, and then what? The shooting the, in Louisiana? I know Louisville. Is it L- Louis? Let me see. Let's see if I can get like the proper spell. Uh, it was in uh yeah, like the. So there's a shooting today. It's a 20 year old guy. He worked at a bank. Uh, the weapon of choice was a rifle. Wow. So again, again, not. It's so, so I just think that it should be, it just should be a little harder to get a gun. I don't know. Like, I don't think we can't outlaw guns. Like we should be able to learn it. I was even just talking to someone about this the other day, uh, who has, who has guns their entire life, who has always been around guns. It's like, why don't we teach gun? We're never going to not have, not have guns in America. So why don't we in schools teach us and teach how to use a gun but then on the other hand people are like i can understand on the other hand people would be like isn't that promoting usage of guns but then you gotta understand there's a lot of people who have never touched a gun so they're immediately they're immediately scared of it same thing with like someone who who doesn't know how to swim they're gonna most likely be kind of cautious around large bodies of water because they don't know how to be in be in it so it's the same thing Kind of. Um, both things can kill you. <laughs> you know, but it doesn't mean that the... It's, you know, but what a lot of people don't want to think about is that there's a lot of mental illness going on. I hate to say it, but it's kind of true. That's the thing. Like, there's... it. We, we don't want to address this large elephant in the room. And this large elephant is the fact that Oh, uh, there's a lot of people in this country wanting to uh, maybe disfigure themselves. And I'm not saying that's a bad thing. And I'm not saying, hey, like with anything, exactly with Coke, exact same thing with Coke. Some people can drink one and be done. Some people want to drink six and want to go crazy. Same thing with probably g- gender identity. Some people just want to be considered a dude and it will just live their whole life as a dude. Or them, he, hey, uh, and there's probably some people who were born a male and then becomes a female and then they can live their whole life normal. And guess what? You don't ever hear about those people because they just live their life. Just like you don't hear much about the fucking normal, the, the dude, because he's just living his life or her, the girl who's just living her life or the chick that transferred to a dude. Uh, are he, th- how they live their life. There are there's, there's just different spectrum of the whole thing, but just saying like if we at least acknowledges acknowledge the fact that we have these things in our culture then maybe there will be a little less fear with them 
And that's what I'm talking about. I, I don't know if that would work. I, I This is just an idea. But going from one extreme or another saying that, like, fuck you for trying to take my guns and saying, fuck you, we shouldn't have guns isn't the answer. But this is insane. It's just, it's, it's don't we, isn't there a point where we are all just so goddamn tired of seeing every other day? <laughs> it's what it is like now. It's just it's normal. It's like a, it's like. When you see the weather, when you do like the weather report, you're like, okay, it's going to rain, rain, not rain, not rain, not rain, 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 rain. And you're not shocked by that because it's normal and it's becoming, okay. So Tuesday was, there was a shooting, uh, a month from now, there's another shooting four months from now, there was two shootings and we're just like, okay, this is just normal. This is just a normal fucking thing that happens in our world. Just what happens? We we don't we have just accepted it now. It's just like reality TV. There is nothing different from what is on TV, the shooting and stuff that we see in TV versus what actually happens in the real world now. But because until we acknowledge, and it's okay to acknowledge this, that there are some mental illness and mental illness comes in many different forms. <clears throat> until then, we're not going, this is, this problem's not going to ever be fixed because no one's looking on both sides of the thing. Uh, we are just yelling and then people get shot and killed and that's all that happens. That's, that's all that, that's all that's occurring. And then there's me drinking this goddamn damn LaCroix. They're not that bad when they're super cold, when they're really, really cold, they're not that bad. They're not that bad. And you know what? Just wanted to suck my tongue. That's all it is. I just wanted to suck my tongue. But, okay, so, um, let's moving on. What's something else? Um, I had a, I thought I'd do a new segment, like this week's Hall of Famer. But, and in my phone, I put Hall of Farmer. So I, I was, um, this, I, I don't know who, who should be this week's, uh, Hall of Fame, right? What? King David? King David? I guess we could do him. So let's do a little like history of King David if you want to. Um, so he, he's a dude for uh, the Jews. Um, <laughs> there we go. King's David Hotel. Oh, yeah, that's King David. That's cool. Uh, King David was the youngest of eight sons, uh, Jess, a farmer and a sheep breeder of uh, the Israeli tribe of Judah. Uh, David likely spent most of his boyhood tending his family's flock. One day he was summoned from the field by a prophet, Samuel, who appointed him king of Israel while Saul was still king. Interesting. And then he uh, he brought the tribe of Israel together. So I'm just doing it because of Passover. I, I don't know. It's actually... Let's look at let's look at pictures of this dude. <laughs> Cause what's so funny is like that's what that's what the D. If you ever wondered what the D actually means in John David or John D. Clauser, it's David. Uh, it's a great thing. Uh, it it was either <laughs> was it was the, well my original Wilmar Wilmar Juan Carlos Juan Carlos de Noco, and then when uh my American name when I got American name then. I, John, my middle name, Juan, became my first name. It's just all over the fucking board, you know? It's all religious, too. So it's, it's really it's, it's a good time. But, uh, so, it's what we are. I don't know. That's the Hall of Famer this week, I guess. I don't I don't know. I, I, um, You know, I think that segment was basically like a fat ass on a nun. I heard that in a song this week, and I was like, huh. 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 That is some great poetry. <laughs> I was like, that is the analogy in that is off. I'm like, wow. I'm like, damn, that is great. That That is, a, damn, that is a, a fat ass on a nun, you know? It's just worthless. Like, why would you, it's just pointless. Why do we have it? It's, damn. I'm like, that is awesome. Some, that's some great lyric tree, right? Lyric tree? Lyric tree, no, it's a, a that was some good wording there. Woof. <laughs> it's 
the fucking truth, though. Um, yeah, this last ten minutes is gonna be insane, guys. I'm just gonna barely just try. I'm gonna fucking just hammer through it. Um, do, 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 do. what else? I don't know. Like, you want to see like ooh, random things that I googled this week? Uh, oh, dude. Okay, so Jonah, what is it? What's her name? Uh, Jonah of Castle. I think that's what it was. Of Castle. Castile, Castile, yeah. So Jonah of Castile. So this chick was insane. So apparently she is from the. Okay, so she was born in 1479. Just to kind of put you in a place of where this is. This is the weird history history thing that I found out this week. So this lady was fucking insane. So she's Spaniard normally. So the Spaniard and the Portuganos. Probably the craziest people of all of uh, of all of the the, the, the an- ancestral thing, and I can say that a lot because the Portugal one, uh, fuck them because because of them. Well, and all, I guess high five to them too because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be around because they basically bred my people into existence, which is crazy to think about. Insane Spaniards and Indians came together, gave you Latinos. Uh, and then my last name, Tenoco, is Portugano. So, with all that said, let's go into this. So, this was in the fucking Spain in 1479. This girl was off her rocker. So, she had a lot of trauma in her life. Father died young when she was young, like four or five mother then died when she was 10 uh and then she got married and her husband passed away and that's basically when she lost it she like took her his heart out put it in a box and put it around her neck in a in on a necklace thing and just wore it all the time which you might be like john that's insane let me tell you this story so the portuguese portuguese had a king that king had a son who was the prince and during this time, Portugal was, um, they were taking over like Brazil and they were going all up and down the, was I believe the Eastern coast of Africa because Spain got, Spain and England got the right and then Portugal got the left and they fucked up a lot of those things because a lot of those people were like Muslim too. And so they would like capture these kings and then they would sodomize them and then they would stick port down their mouth and then send them back into their tribes. It was fucking, it was fucked up. But so this king had a prince. This prince fell in love with a foreign woman. I believe she was from Brazil and he married her. And because he married her, basically in turn, whenever the king died, the prince would become the king. She would be the queen. But instead of it being a Portugana, it was going to be a Braziliana. Br- Brazilian? Braziliana? And um, so, because of this, the king was not down for this. He killed this girl. Killed her. The Then, what happened? The prince had a coup. So, he took a group of his group of people. Overthrew the Portugana government. Uh, killed his dad. And then became king, pronounced himself king, bury, uh, unburied the his wife, made her queen. So then uh, there was a time when she was there. And of course, you know, there was, this is all history. So of course, this stuff was happening in the 1500s. I, the Portugal thing happened in 1509. And so, but when that was, so... When it happened, and then they, so there's a lot of like different things because like a lot of Spaniard did a lot of fucked up things. So, um, in history, they will, there's always two sides with the Latin stuff, with like the Span stuff, like even with Honduras. The Honduran Native American got killed. In the Honduran books, history books, they talk about how he was then eaten in front of his, basically his right hand men, and then. In the Spaniard books, they say, yeah, we killed this guy, but we didn't eat him, which, whatever. So, it's whatever way you want to look at it. But, it is what it is. But, that, but, yeah, that's the thing. Like, she was just, she, she just wore a, 
Okay, so what does it say? Um, why was she mad? Uh, Joan of Castel. Uh, it was thought that Jonah may have suffered from a wide range of mental illnesses, including schizophrenia and depression. However, it seems that her behavior escalated in response to the death of her siblings, her nephew, her mother, and her husband. What happened to her? Uh, Jonah died on Good Friday. So I guess is <clears throat> I guess. Um, I guess like it just kind of all worked together. Uh, and she died on <clears throat> Good Friday, April 12th, 1555 at the age of 75 in the Royal Palace at Tor Tortolanus. Uh She was embalmed in the Royal ca uh, Chapel of Grandana in Spain alongside her parents, Isabella Uno and Fred uh, Fred Edan the second and her husband Philip the first and her nephew Miguel de Pez Prince of Asturas Astoraz 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 there we go there we go I had to just fucking hammer through that shit it's <laughs> it's like hitting a fucking hammer against a rock uh, <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> yeah, she was the queen from 1904, no, 1904, you dickhead, 1504 to 1555, during which time Spain became the world power who never actually ruled during her own mental instability and the greed of power of her father, husband, and son. Interesting. But yeah, look her up. All of her pictures are really fucking weird. Because this woman was insane. She wore a heart around her neck. That was the, the most craziest thing about her. Um, what else? Did you see that there's like a... So I didn't know there was. So there was a thing in... A face on Mars. There's an image. If you just Google it. I didn't know there was, the, there was this thing. I just heard it on a podcast this week. Uh, a face on Mars. That images that took uh, by NASA Viking 1... Uh, was released uh, 25th July 1975. Captures the public image. Features the face very likely, very much like a human face. Yeah, if you just Google it, you can see it. But it's just a lot of shadows. It's just a rock that looks like because of the picture shadowing at the time. Kind of cool. I don't know if if you guys would be interested in something like that. Uh, do 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 do. Oh, what is the the weird thing that I googled this week? The weird question this week I I, I googled why do slug why don't slugs have shells? <laughs> so um, some researchers have suggested that slugs once had an external shell, as they evolved from snails, they lost their shell over time. Interesting, huh? Interesting. These are the things I Google. That is what I Google. The dumbest of things that oh my god okay this is the thing I'll, I'll end on all right okay remember that Farah that Farah girl from teenage mom so there's a video of her taking a shit uh, she got paid like I think fifty thousand dollars to take a shit on camera <laughs> and I mean and you would think like okay is that the story John no the fact that it was like a two foot long shit and it was just a consistent log that's what was the most insane part about it was the fact that it was comedically long and comedically like shocking you're like okay it's, it's gonna end it's gonna oh my god it keeps on going so if you want to look that up look at that teen mom Farah girl holy tits hilarious funny as fuck had that got that sent to me in a group text this week and they're like look at this look where she's gone um but yeah so with that ladies and gentlemen that is the podcast and i'll talk to you guys on the next episode um lacroix lacroix look Lacroix, 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 Lacroix. all right bye